Hello all you lovely people and welcome to another video of mine and in today's video we're going to be talking about AFMF2 versus lossless scaling and lossless scaling 3.0. So this is not a video about the first Berserker Kazan. I've already made a video about this on the Lenovo Legion Go. Feel free to check that out. But today's video is going to be focused on lossless scaling 3.0. So here I am using the lossless scaling 3.0. I've also made a dedicated video on this, but in today's video, all I'm gonna do is first play this game, which is uh, the first Berserker Kazan. And I'm first gonna play this with AFMF2. So for that, I just wanna quickly show you all my AFMF2 settings or my adrenaline settings so that you are aware of what I'm playing this with so that uh, you get context. And uh, you can also follow these settings in case you wanna use AFMF2. So in Adrenaline, what I'm doing is I'm turning off uh, Super Resolution because uh, I chose to go along with Radeon Image Sharpening. I've kept that enabled and at 100% sharpness. And obviously, AFMF2 is on, it's enabled, the search mode is high, and the performance mode has been kept on quality. I'm also going along with Integer Scaling and the Scaling mode has been kept on full panel. As far as the advanced settings go, uh, the anti-aliasing method is multi-sampling. The morphological anti-aliasing has been enabled. The anisotropic filtering has been enabled and kept at 2x. The texture filtering quality is on performance and the surface format optimization has been enabled as well. So these are my adrenaline settings. And um, I'm not gonna focus so much on the in-game settings except for the display resolution. So what I wanna show you as far as the in-game settings go is I mainly play on low or medium preset. And uh, for this game, uh, I will play this on the same medium preset probably. But the more important setting here is the display resolution. So for that, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Legion Space Settings here. And uh, I'm going to show you the TDP is on performance mode. And um, the display resolution has been kept on 1600p. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start tracking the performance from here. So let's just get into the game and the game will require full screen for the FPS to uh, uh, get started on the tracking that is. So as soon as I get into the game, I am going to go and uh, change the, uh, the windowed option that is uh, and move over to a full screen option. Now please note I'm playing this at 1600p. By the way, this game looks absolutely insane on the Lenovo Legion Go. So the first thing borderless full screen that's what i'm going to go along with let's apply the changes and the reason why i'm doing this is because we want to track the performance of afmf2 and um, what about the other settings like i told you and by the way amd fluid motion frames is enabled as you can see here so it's 1600p from within the game as well and uh, it's mostly on the medium graphical preset so let's start this game and uh, see how this game performs so AFMF2 again is on and I'm playing at 1600p from within the game and even the display resolution from Lenovo Legion Space uh, settings has been kept on 1600p. So here I am. What I want to show you very quickly is this particular scene. So let's just focus here. Now let's pan the camera around as well. And I'm getting a solid 50 plus FPS with this. So this is really solid guys. Not bad at all. Let's look at the character as well. The character looks sharp as well. You can see the details in the character. Pretty good. Pretty good guys. So let's try to move around as well and see what happens. I'm not going to head in that direction because I've got enemies there. But let's head into this direction and it should give you an idea as to how this performs even when I sprint. So I'm sprinting here and this is still giving me 50 plus FPS. And this is absolutely great in terms of visual fidelity. This is native 1600p guys. And uh, this looks beautiful. So this definitely looks great. And uh, not only does it look great, but it is so smooth. And this is 50 plus FPS and 50 plus FPS does look really smooth on this display. So medium quality preset, AFMF2 is working and I'm getting 50 FPS with AFMF2. 
So I'm going to keep all the settings the same in terms of in-game settings. But what I'm going to change this time around is I'm going to start lossless scaling. And to do that, the first thing that I'll have to do is go into the settings. And the only thing that I'm going to change is windowed. So here, it's at the maximum windowed resolution. Okay. So because we were playing at the maximum screen display resolution, when it was on windowed full screen, so a borderless full screen, I'm sorry, here in the windowed mode, this is the maximum resolution that I can get. And I'm going to hit that. And it's already applied. So this is the only change that I'm doing this time around. And uh, what I want to do is go into AMD's adrenaline settings again. But I'm going to turn off AMD's fluid motion frames completely off. So let's turn it off. So now it's off, but I'm still choosing to go along with Radeon image sharpening. But there is no frame generation from AMD's adrenaline. So that's completely off. I'm going to go into lossless scaling. Generally, lossless scaling does have um, an ability to uh, assign hotkeys, and that's exactly what I've done. So I'm not going to hit the scale button from here because I've got uh, hotkeys assigned to it. But what I want to show here is that this is LSFG 3.0. This is the latest user interface. In case you don't know how to get this, please check out my previous video because I've clearly shown how to get this new user interface. The um, frame generation that I'm choosing to go along with is X4, which generates three intermediate frames. And this means it's going to give me four times the um, frame generation. The resolution scale has been kept on 60. I am choosing to go along with the, the scaling type of SGSR and the sharpness has been kept at 5. All the other settings, please check my previous dedicated video on lossless scaling as well. But what I'm going to do now is please note that AMFF, AFMF2, I'm sorry, it has been turned off. And now I am just going to use lossless scalings, upscaling here, from here, in addition to image sharpening. So this stays on. Image sharpening is still on and I'm still using the uh, upscaling here, which is SGSR. But the frame generation, I've turned off AFMF2. And in this video, I'm going to choose uh, X4 here and uh, see how this performs. So let's go over to the game. Let's head into the game. And now I'm going to hit my hotkey, which in my case is Control S. So uh, let's quickly go over to my keyboard. And this scales up. So now the difference is that this tracker will not be as effective. So I'm going to turn this off. So I'm going to go into the Legion space settings from here. And it's still at 1600p display resolution, that is. But I'm going to turn the tracking off. But there is a small little window here. Not a window, uh, but a frame counter. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up. It says that the actual frame rates is 30 FPS but I'm getting four times that, which is over 120 FPS. Now that is truly phenomenal. And this is still 1600p and look at how sharp this looks, guys. Oh boy, oh boy. And I'm getting 140 FPS. It is insane, insane, absolutely insane. And this is why lossless scaling 3.0 is brutal when it comes to the performance. And it absolutely blows the lids off AFMF2. And I think this has also sorted all the previous issues that Lossless 2.3 had um, or Lossless 2.0 had. Now, when I pan the camera around, there is not a lot of artifacting or ghosting. There's still a little bit. Now, please note that there will always be a little bit. So let's be fair here and let's be reasonable. It's not like the problem or the issue has completely gone away but it's so much better because previously when you used to pan the camera around so fast, there will be a lot of clipping artifacting here on the character's screen. Now that is completely gone and this feels so smooth. There is, however, a sort of a, um, I would say a, a sort of a border uh, ghosting, border ghosting is what I would call it when it comes to this character. And only when you pan the camera around very fast like this can you notice it. But when you move the camera around slowly, it's not noticeable. But what is noticeable is the sharpness that you're getting now at the 1600p 
with lossless scaling and I'm getting over 140 FPS guys. This is truly incredible. So what I'm gonna do is let's head over to, let's try to head over to that area where we had that uh, object. So I'm gonna stand up exactly there just to show you the sharpness that I'm now getting. Yeah, so we were here, right? So let's try to stand here. Please let me know in the comment section, which one do you think looks better? This is still lossless scaling, by the way, as you can see, I'm getting over 140 FPS, guys. You can even go X20. I've not even tried that out, but you can go to X20 as well. So let's quickly record 30 seconds of this now. In this comparison screen, you would clearly notice, uh, not exactly a crop, but uh, top and bottom black bars on the lossless scaling version. And uh, the AFMF2 version has a full screen. This is but obvious because in lossless scaling, we are in windowed mode and then we are scaling it up and therefore you get a top and bottom black bar, which does make it look cinematic, but it uh, eats into that screen estate. I also wanted to crop in 200% to check out how the visual fidelity would get impacted. Now, with lossless scaling, of course, I get that buttery smooth frame rate and buttery smooth performance. But here, I noticed that there was still a little bit of shimmering when you close in and when you crop in 200%. So I even slowed the footage down. Look at the snowflakes here. The snowflakes look way better on the lossless scaling version compared to AFMF2. But when you look at that uh, distant sword object or that sword object, the red uh, object, you would notice that there's a little bit of shimmering in the lossless scaling version. And then I finally realized, oops, AMD's FSR2 is still on. So let me show you by turning AMD's FSR2 off on lossless scaling. So when FSR is turned off, the image looks much cleaner, especially notice the shadow beneath the character Kazan. You would know a checkered pattern in the shadows with FSR turned on, which is absolutely missing in FSR off. So the FSR off variant is comparatively better, way better. There's no shimmering issue as well here, but it does take a toll on the performance because the performance drops from those 140 FPS over to around 75 to 80 FPS, but the image is better. So this is truly bonkers guys, because come on, <laughs> I mean, come on, 140 FPS at 1600p. This is what lossless scaling can do. And look at that sharpness, guys. Look at the objects, look at the trees in the background. Look at those dried twigs in the background. Look at these particles here. Oh man, it looks so sharp. Wow, incredible. What do you guys think? Please again, let me know in the comment section. This is insane. I mean, this is what Software Boost can do for your Lenovo Legion Go. And softwares like lossless scaling fully take advantage of the um, Radeon uh, 780M. Oh man, this is insane, guys. I mean, I think with this resolution, I can even hook it over to a TV and I can play because uh, there won't be a bad resolution that I'll be looking at in terms of a big screen even. So even if I connect it to a 55 inch TV, I think I'll still be able to get that visual fidelity that I desire out of this game. I mean, just look at it guys, it's insane. <laughs> wow, this is brilliant, fantastic. And um, without lossless scaling, well, now what we're gonna do is, uh, let's try something crazy, all right? Let's go over to custom and let's do X 20. What happens? Will the game break? We'll find out. And uh, I just want to do this before I finally conclude the game. What kind of uh, a frame rate do you think it will show up on screen? Get ready, folks, to be amazed. Man, 230 FPS. Oh, and it's warped, guys. I mean, come on, look at that. No, this is definitely, nah, this is unplayable. <laughs> It's a warped mess. If you stand still, it's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. But as soon as you move that camera, you see what's happening? Oh man, this is this is messy. No, this is definitely not playable. Absolutely unplayable, guys. If you keep the camera still, that's fine. And you're getting over 200 FPS, 220 FPS. 
but no, this is not playable. So in case you had that question in mind, what if you go x20 instead of x4? Well, here you have it. It's not playable in my opinion. This is some warped <laughs> mess. So I am going to exit out of this. Um, but I'm curious, what, what would happen if I take it up to x10? Let's, let's do that as well. For the sake of this video, since we are making a video on lossless scaling again, x10 now, not x20. And this is not bad, guys. This is, this is totally playable. I mean, for some time, maybe. No, 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 not totally playable. I take that back. I take that back. This is not totally playable, but still better than x20. Yeah, there's a lot of um, ghosting around the character and that uh, bordering issue that I was talking about, border focus or border artifacting is, um, is uh, quite visible. So no, this is also not a good experience. So I did show you X4, but what would happen if I take it up to X3? So let's go to X3 instead of X4. I'm sure the, um, the visual fidelity will be comparatively better in terms of artifacting and ghosting. I'm still getting over 120 FPS, guys. Please note that, all right? And this is even better than X4 now. In terms of uh, the artifacting and the ghosting around the character, that border artifacting is uh, comparatively better. It's definitely way better. And even when I sprint, man, this is insane. So with AFMF2, I was able to extract uh, close to 50 FPS in 1600p. But at the same display resolution, from Lenovo Legion Space, of course, the in-game resolution is not as high as uh, 1600p because when you go over to windowed mode, what happens is the um, resolution maxes out at 1152. So, yes, it is a reduced resolution from within the game when it comes to um, lossless scaling compared to AFMF2, but it still looks great because please note that there is upscaling also happening from lossless scaling. So, there is upscaling plus frame generation. And this looks good, guys. I mean, it looks as sharp as 1600p that uh, I was using with uh, AFMF2. But the advantage here is that with AFMF2, where I was getting 50 FPS, now with lossless scaling, the frame generation of X3, not even X4, I'm still getting over 120 FPS. So talk about getting a boost in your gameplay. Here you have it, guys. And this is why lossless scaling 3.0 is such a big change and a major improvement over lossless scaling from the previous version. Flawless victory. Wow. I guess I'm getting better at this game as well. <laughs> but hey, this is AFMF2 versus lossless scaling. Lossless scaling, in my personal opinion, definitely makes this game work better. What are your thoughts? Please let me know in the comments section. And uh, if you've liked this content, if you've got something out of it, uh, then uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and also that like button in case you want to get, uh, oh, the bell icon, in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. And uh, this is me signing off. And uh, it's a wrap for this one. And again, guys, please hit that like, subscribe, and also that bell icon. It also helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it goes a long way. It's just a simple click for you, but for me and my channel, it is a huge support. So I appreciate and I thank you in advance for doing all of that. Like, subscribe and hitting the bell icon that is. Uh, it's a wrap for this one. I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe and may God bless you all.